morning, MHS. I'm Leah Rothman. And I'm Sabrina Seltzer. Happy Friday. Hope everyone enjoyed their four-day week. Yeah, that was a nice snow day this last Wednesday. <laughs> Let's take it with the news. In MHS news, Teacher Appreciation Week is coming on Monday and Tuesday of next week. Note paper will be distributed in science classes and will also be available in the library. Write notes to any teachers who have made an impact on you this year. It will make their day. All notes will be distributed on Thursday before break. Tomorrow, cities all across the country will be participating in a national march for our lives. And last week was the nationwide student walkout to protest gun violence, which many of you here at MHS took part in. MHS Info was at the scene to capture the walkout and also spoke with the organizers of the event. Here's a piece produced by Grayson Liptak and Hannah Young. had a fantastic turnout, lots of people. We looked towards Palmer, the Palmer exit of the thing, and there were people just streaming out. It started with a Facebook post. I didn't really expect that much support in the future, but what came down to was we got the support. Now, first and foremost, I hope to accomplish or just to stand in solidarity with the Parkland students because they were the ones that started this whole movement and the walkout was for the 17 victims to remember them. And be like We're not going to forget and it's never going to happen again. I think it's about telling our politicians, both Democrat, Republican, Independent, that you have to do something. I know this shouldn't be a partisan issue and we shouldn't be trying to make it a partisan issue. So it was crucial that it, is, that it was student-led and that, you know, we are the ones to initiate this conversation. We don't need adults being the microphone for us. We're our own microphone and we can tell people in Washington, in Albany, that what we want and we're going to get what we want. Want to become part of MHS's award-winning newspaper, The Globe? Pick up a staff application today in the library or Mr. Madden's room, Palmer D235. See Mr. Bosch, Mr. Goldberg, or Mr. Madden with any questions. Applications will be due Wednesday, March 28th. Attention seniors, cap and gown measurements will be taken this coming Monday, March 26th, in the overpass at lunch. No money is required at this time but make sure you stop by to order your cap and gown. And now for a very important public service announcement produced by Luke Wasong about an issue affecting part of the population here at MHS. Let's take a look. Senioritis is a crippling disease that affects seniors they start to lose motivation, they want to move on from Amaranek High School, they want to become more independent. Uh, but teachers disagree. Teachers think senioritis is a choice and not a disease. Tomorrow, MHS students will sponsor the 9th Annual Furniture Drive to collect gently used furniture to benefit Westchester families in need. Want to volunteer for a one-hour shift? See Mr. Paez in D211. Breakfast and lunch will be provided for all volunteers. And now for our last video of the day. Students and MHS's club, Students for Senegal, traveled to Senegal over the February break to visit the club's learning center in Lambay. Here is a highlight video of that trip edited by Millie Bone with help from Noah Wilson. Roll it. All right, we just checked in. <laughs> we made it. We're about to start on a real trip.
We're walking to the learning center right now. We're all really excited. Now we're down to the last two. May I have this dance? Wow, that trip looked amazing. The countdown for break begins. Only four more, four days. more days. Let's go. Get hype. That was MHS info. Just for one.